Hello guys, welcome back to the final episode of the Coventry City career mode. We have six games left of this season and let's go through them. Starting with this game against Sheffield Wednesday. As you can see, Coventry City just outside that top six, trying to close it down. But with six games to go, we were running out of time. And uh, yeah, like I said, the first game here was... Uh, was it Sheffield Wednesday at home? Uh, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Tyler Walker there though, obviously looking to fill his boots, the top scorer in the league. Uh, it was Sheffield Wednesday at home as we get underway and uh, this was a massive game. With momentum going our way at the moment, we needed to keep winning games and um, well, you'll see what happens in this one. As you can see, 15 minutes on the clock when a great through ball was played into the path of Tyler Walker. Running in and somehow scoring from that angle. A great goal to add to his collection. Uh, just so you know, guys, I am filming in the lounge uh, instead of the summer house today just because we've had some internet problems at the summer house for any of you guys that are confused. Anyway, as you can see, 27 minutes in. Tyler Walker again. Scoring again. Great goal. 2-0 to Coventry at this point. And we were on course for another three points here against this mid-table Sheffield Wednesday. And um, with 53 minutes on the clock, we became too casual there. Uh, I don't know why it cut out randomly, but they did score from us being too casual, which is really frustrating. I, I keep doing that when I'm in winning positions. And we gave Sheffield Wednesday a way back into the game. And uh, like I said, 2-1 at this point, going into stoppage time. A header there from Tyler Walker. Sheffield Wednesday coming forwards here. Just as I was begging the ref to blow the full-time whistle, Sheffield Wednesday broke into the box, but we tackled them. Dabo clearing the ball, and that was it. We beat Sheffield Wednesday to close the gap once again on the playoffs. And that was, I think, three wins in a row. So massive, massive, well, great run of form, really. And uh, like I said, a great win against Sheffield Wednesday as we continue to close down that top six. Going into the fifth final game of the season, we were away. No, I think we were at home to Derby here. Now Derby, I think they were about eighth or ninth or just around the playoffs as well. So they were in a similar position to us trying to close those playoffs down. But we did give them a good game here. As you can see, uh, 16 minutes on the clock, they came forwards and they scored. So we were in trouble uh, early on and it meant that we'd have to come from behind to win this one. Uh, Derby were actually one of the best teams I've played so far this season. They were playing really, really good football. Tyler Walker came forward here on the hour mark and scored fantastically well there to move close to 40 goals for the season. Tyler Walker is on fire and that was a massive goal, but realistically we needed to win this one. Uh, as you can see, with 81 minutes on the clock, they came forwards. Morosi making a great save there. Well, it was an OK save. It wasn't that great. Anyway, we played it forwards. We countered them. Matty Godden here running down the wing in a wide position, whipping the ball in. Tyler Walker with a great chest, lets it bounce, and then fires it in with less than five minutes to go. We snatched this one 2-1, and this was a massive, massive win. And um, the playoffs were actually in sight after this one. A great result against Derby County, and that was when the full-time whistle finally went after Derby came forward here. It was quite nail-biting, actually. They nearly scored, uh, but we did get it away. And that was four wins in a row when the full-time whistle went there. Massive, massive result. And uh, we continued to sort of climb the table. Now, this was a massive game. Norwich City was sat third in the table. And um, with the momentum we had, we had to beat them. We fell behind here. 41 minutes on the clock when uh, Dowell scored for Norwich City and um, going into the second half they came forwards again here we were exposed and a good pass and I think that was Dowell again who scored my computer lagging a little bit there to make that 2-0 and right near the end they made it 3-0 and this game was just not going our way and it was massively frustrating when you think we needed to win this one um, to continue our push towards the playoffs. Going into stoppage time, we tried to chase a goal, but we didn't get it. The full-time whistle went there. Coventry City nil, Norwich City three, and that might just be the game that finishes our hopes of making the top six. Um, hugely frustrating. We moved on to the next one, which was Bristol City, and I think we were about six points off the playoffs with four games to go, so we had to win this one. 
and uh, it was 0-0 for a long part of this game and then Tyler Walker popped up with this absolutely outrageous goal what a finish to make it Bristol City 0 Coventry City 1 60 minutes on the clock we had to get this win over the line but like I said the playoffs just out of reach I think but um, good finish nonetheless a really strong start to the season when you consider we started this season in a bit of a relegation battle as you can see here 81 minutes on the clock Dabo whipped in a ball and a great finish from the new signing Xavi Simons who's now scored two or three this season since we signed him at the end of January Good finish there to make it uh, Bristol City nil, Coventry City 2. But the goal difference, like I've said before, is already ruined this season. So uh, it was just a nice goal to seal the win. Um, yeah, Bristol City, as you can see here, on the ball in 90, well, on 91 minutes, knocking it round fairly nicely. But they didn't have time to get um, anything out of this. And that was it. The full-time whistle went there. Bristol City nil, Coventry City 2. And uh, with two games to go, we had a look at the table actually after this one. And as you can see, with two games to go, we were four points off the playoffs. So a very unlikely chance of making that top six. It's, it was basically between us and Blackburn. And uh, like I said, with two games to go, it was it was not really looking like it's going to go our way. Our next game was fifth place Nottingham Forest. And this was a tough game because Nottingham Forest were obviously doing well in the league. And uh, realistically, we had to win this one. Um, half time, it was nil nil. I was looking at the other score to see Blackburn were losing. So that meant that if we won this, we'd be able to take it to the final day. So Blackburn were losing. We had to win this though. So 0-0 wasn't good enough at the moment. Um, it was a cagey game once again. 0-0 for a long part of this game. And going into the 64th minute, we came forwards. A sweaty pass. And Tyler Walker scoring a massive, massive goal for us. Because that game for a long time seemed like it just wasn't going to go our way. I went mental when that goal went in. And it was Nottingham Forest nil, Coventry City 1. And going into stoppage time, we were just desperate to get this over the line. Dabo on the ball here, just trying to play for time and hoofed it up there. And the full-time whistle did finally go there. But we had to make sure that Blackburn didn't beat Reading. So although it was a good result, we had to wait until the end to see what the other score was. And if Blackburn had won, it would be all over. We had a look at the scores after going through all this. The stats there showing we were the better team. And Blackburn did lose to Reading, meaning it is going to the final game, which I haven't played yet. When it went to the final game, what I thought I'd do, because it'd be really fun, is I thought I'd try and sync up the camera while I'm playing so I can do a live reaction to the final game, because we do have a chance on the final day of sneaking into the top six. Uh, it's not in our hands, as you can see there, Blackburn Rovers in 6th, we're in 7th, but let's get into this final game against Wickham and hope that Blackburn don't win their game. Let's go. So then guys, this is it. It is Coventry City versus Wickham Wanderers, the final day of the season. Oh my gosh, we've got an outside chance of making this top six. This is crazy. The whole season, we haven't been in the top six, but with one game to go, we have a chance of sneaking into sixth place and finishing in the playoffs. It's out of our hands. We rely on Blackburn to get nothing. Well, hopefully they don't win against Preston, but they are at home and Preston are low down in the table. We have to win this one away to Wickham. We've just kicked off. No, 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 Wickham could be in here. Keepers come in, come on. No! No, no, no! Oh my god, are you having a laugh? Oh my god. To Wickham Wanderers. Really? It's a poor start here. We've got to come from behind now. <sighs> Xavi Simons, can he find Tyler Walker? He can. Come on Walker, you've got to score this. That was a poor touch. Gordon's running with you. Can you find him? He can. Gordon! It's in! It's 1-1. 40 minutes played. 1-1. Come on. Massive goal that. We're level before half time. That's what we needed. We need to win this though. And we need to find out what the Blackbird score is at half time. Yeah, 
Freeman. Freeman. Oh, come on. Do they mean business on this occasion? Strong but fair tackle. Now, counter attack and possibilities here. So have you see Mons has been released? See Mons, can he find Walker at the back post? He can. Walker, no. And that's half time. 1-1. One, one. It's a bit frustrating that we're not ahead, but we need to find out what the Blackburn score is. It's nil-nil between Blackburn and Preston. Oh God, it's on a knife edge. If Blackburn score, it's out of our hands. But as things stand, if we were to score, we'd sneak into the top six. 1-1 one, one at half time, we move on to the second half. Come on. Can we do this? Come on, boys. Walker. Walker. And give it away. I believe there's been a goal in the Blackburn Rovers game. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for Preston North. Yes! It's a goal for Preston! There's a goal for Preston in the Blackburn game. As, oh, oh, as Walker comes in here, go on, it's it, it's it, go on. Yes, come on. Get in there, come on. We're going to do it, we're going to do it. 72 minutes on the clock. We've scored 18 minutes left of the season and we are into the top six for the first time this season. Come on. Oh my gosh. And with Blackburn losing to Preston, this is unreal. Come on. Oh my gosh. Tyler Walker, you lovely, lovely man. Walker on the ball here. Finds Matty Godden. Matty Godden could seal this. Matty Godden, can he do it? Matty Godden, he has! Matty Godden! Get in there! We've done it! We've made the playoffs! With minutes left of the season, we have qualified for the playoffs. Unreal scenes here. Come on, get in there! Yes! Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Plenty of options. Gates. Minutes left of the season here. Can we do it? Get the ball away. Come on. Yes! Is that it? We need to make sure Blackburn have lost. We've done it! We've done it! Come on! Get in there! Come on! Yes! Get in there! Oh my gosh, it wasn't in our hands, but we've done it. We've won this game. We've relied on Preston to beat Blackburn. They drew 1-1, so we've only just done it. We've only just done it. We have made the playoffs. We've made the playoffs. Come on. Oh my gosh, what a mad season. We started the season so badly, we were in a relegation battle. And let's have a look at the table then. We started the season in a relegation battle, but we have finished the season in sixth place and we now have to play Bournemouth in the playoffs. Let's have a little look at what the table finished like. Oh my gosh. So there we go, as I scroll up, we had to get 80 points and we made it by one point in the playoffs and we've got Bournemouth to play and then either Brentford or Forest in the final if we beat Bournemouth. But what a season this has been. Wow. I'll, uh, I'll sign off there, guys. We'll do a playoff special. I did not expect to make the playoffs. I thought this would be the final episode. I'll make a playoff final episode at the weekend. You'll have to watch out for that one at the weekend. And uh, we'll see you in the final one. Peace out, guys.